one of the largest wasps in the area bores these tunnels. Actually, this is the larva tunnel from the larva eating the wood. This is the ichneumon wasp, and I've been splitting this wood, and right here we see a newly metamorphosed ichneumon wasp in the middle of this log here. It's starting to crawl slowly out of the log and it will fly away eventually. You can see over here this one I split this log and uh, this ichneumon is already alert. Whoops, sorry about that. This is a live take. Alert and ready to go. It will be pumping its wings filled with its insect blood similar to a the way a butterfly does it. And there are ichneumons all over the place. Down here here's another ichneumon wasp that we've helped speed up the process to freedom. This looks like a male to me because you can see it does not have that long ovipositor on its posterior. Where over here, the female, you see that long, it almost looks like a stinger, but it is not a stinger. That's used to lay eggs inside of the logs. It bores that through. Here's another one. It bores that ovipositor into the rotted or decaying tree trunks, lays an egg, and then all of these holes that you see in tunnels are the, well, that's what the developing larva ate. They eat the decomposing wood, and I just am very impressed that they develop inside and then have to crawl through these tunnels to get out. We'll see if we can take a look, a better look at the female. So I've spliced off the small layer of bark that was covering this female ichneumon. And you see she's got about a half an inch to go before she would have been free. Now this ovipositor back here is folded right now. When she's ready to fly, this ovipositor can be about Oh, I would say four inches long or so. So those are some tight quarters. And I never thought about the amount of energy that these ichneumon wasps have to expend to get from their mature stage back through the tunnels out into the open air. And here you can see the size difference. There's the male. And here is the female. So female is much larger. Right here, this is the pupa. You'll notice that the head is round and you can see the eyes on the side of the head there. This is transforming into the adult right now. As we move up a little bit, this is a further developed pupa where the head is taking shape. You can see the appendages, the legs are in there folded up, the antenna are folded down. And if we move down a little more, right in here we have another pupa that is resembling the completed adult. That's the early stages of the pupa that we started with. And down here we can see that we now have a mature adult ichneumon wasp. It's already moving around. Looks like it's trying to free itself from this chamber. But this is amazing. In the trunk of this silver maple 
all of these ichneumons are in their various stages of development. And up on top, that is the complete cycle. Here's the adult. Now this ichneumon wasp is getting accustomed to life in the open air for the first time. It has this sort of green powder covering its body right now, which will uh, be cleaned off shortly. And uh, we will monitor these insects and see if they display any interesting behavior.